Hey guys, what's up? It's Absurd Nerd, uh, back again for another edition to obviously, you know what I do best, open some Pokemon cards. Today I am actually um, opening up some tins, three brand new tins, and these are actually exclusive to only Walmart. Can I get these anywhere else except for Walmart? These are going on from, as far as I know, obviously from today which is the 3rd of June all the way until June 15th. After that, it will be discontinued and more than likely they will be out of print, out of stock. So get them all while you can. Um, the first one that we have, Fire Type, it's a Blaziken EX in the tin. Second one is a Septile EX. That will be the Leaf. And for the Water, we got a Swampert EX. Um, I'm actually going to be opening up the first one it'll be a swamper and i have no idea what is inside besides um the four pokemon tcg cards and the code for online and obviously one of three promo exs which would be the swamper this time around let me just try to open this with my teeth real quick ah I'm going to lose my teeth by the time I'm done opening all these Pokemon cards. Like I said, though, these are exclusive to Walmarts only. I checked with my local comic book store, and you cannot get them. They don't even have them in stock, but like I said, Walmart does for that very same reason. Um, by the way, the place that I heard this news one was from the, um, the official Pokemon Facebook page. So, let's see what comes inside the Swampert. Alright, so I'm going to open it up. Obviously, now we can finally see the whole card. Swampert EX it has two attacks. One is Mud Flood for 40 plus. Reveal the top four cards of your deck. This attack does 40 more damage for each water energy you find there. Shuffle the reveal cards back into your deck. Second one is Hydro Tackle. For 4 energies, 120 damage, this Pokemon does 20 damage to itself. Alright. Pretty cool. Right here we got the online booster pack that they always come with. And it looks like we got one Phantom Force, one Primal Clash, and two Roaring Skies. I kind of guess Roaring Skies would be the the main attraction of this just for the fact that it's the newest edition and also if you guys have not heard um, there's actually going to be a new XY expansion coming out in August the exact date I am not too sure about and uh, off the top of my head I cannot remember the name of that actual expansion but I think it's called Ancient Powers Ancient Powers yeah is the name of um the new XY edition. Remember, August is when it drops. Alright, so first one out the Roaring Skies. We got a Halucha, Cascoon, Meowth, Full Art Natu. Can't have enough of these. We got a Pikachu, a Reverse Hollow Pikachu, same exact one I just showed you. And a Salamence is the rare. Hollow, Dragon type. And we got a wide lens trainer followed by Manetric and trainer's mail. Okay. If you guys watched um, my latest videos, I did a whole unveiling of the, the XY Roaring Skies booster box. So I'm going to be getting a lot of duplicates. I was actually wondering what was going to be inside for the, the XY booster packs. But right now we got, okay, second pack. It's another Roaring Skies. We got Baggin, Binnacle, Gligar, Meowth, Spiro, and a Reverse Hollow Victini is the rare. Followed by a Hollow Absol. I think this is my third one. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to be getting a lot of duplicates. We got a Wide Lens Trainer, Shelgen. Followed by a Mega Turbo Trainer. This one's pretty cool. Attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your Mega Evolution Pokemon. Comes in handy. 
All right, second one, or third one, I'm sorry, is going to be from the Primal Clash expansion. Also opened one of these booster boxes. Got some pretty cool cards out of that. Got a Mega what, Kyogre, I believe, yeah. All right, third pack. We got a Chinchou, Electrike, Tentacool, Rhyhorn, Tinamo or Tynamo, followed by a Reverse Hollow, Nido Queen. It's actually not the rare. I always confuse that. I'm so used to Nido Queens and Nido Kings being the rares. This one is actually an uncommon, so that means the next one I pull or reveal is actually going to be the rare. Let's find out. Ripe. Riperior. R okay. I believe this was, um, you can get this card, um, it's a holographic off one of the little, it's not a promo card, but it's one of those little packs of cards that come with the, like, two packs, I believe, and then in the very front it'll show a Pokemon, and Riperior is one of the first ones that you can see, and this time it's actually inside the pack. Not holo, non reverse, but I'm glad I got it. I was actually looking for one, so I can add to my fighting deck. Cool. Then we got Teammates Trainer, followed by a Lombre, and a Combuskin. Cool, I got a Torchic Combuskin, and I don't think I have stage two of this one. Oh well, hopefully I get one later. All right. Third pack. Ah, yes. It's a Blaziken. That's what the stage two is. Third pack is a Phantom Forces. Let's see what we get inside. Toss that to the side. First one out is a Bronzor. Purloin. Swaddle. Whismer. Zubat, Reverse Hollow Deadeny, which is a common, means the next one usually after reverse or the any reverse actually is followed by a rare. In some cases, you get two rares. So next one, ah, Galvantula. Got a couple of these also. Rares are rare. Now I can just trade these away. No need to have duplicates. Followed by a Swadloon, Roller Skates Trainer, a Robo Substitute Team Flare Item Card, and that's it. Alright, well, as you saw, though the first one that I opened was the Swampert EX. Here's the art on the cover of it. Pretty cool, I like the artwork of the Swampert EX-10. Um, following that, my next video, I will be doing the Sceptile. Stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy what I'm about to bring to you, because I hope I get some really good cards. Stay tuned. Alright, guys. Back again with the Sceptile EX promo card. This is a tin, for obvious reasons that you can see. This is exclusive to only Walmart locations. Can't get them at your comic book store, can't get them anywhere else. Toys R Us, nothing only your local Walmart so make sure you call and get these three the first video was a Swampert EX this one was a Sceptile in my third video I will be opening the Blaziken EX but that'll have to wait okay let me let me try to open these real quick ah, there we go much easier than using my teeth yes 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 okay so let's open it up. I should be expecting the EX promo and four TCG booster packs along with an online trader. So you should get five online traders per team because you get the one in the very front and four in, and one actually in every pack. Okay, we got the Sceptile EX. Let's see what it does. First one is agility for 20 damage, one leaf energy. Flip a coin if heads prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Very useful. 
Next we have a Strong Slash, does 130 damage for 3 Leaf. This Pokemon can't use Strong Slash during your next turn. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty powerful attack, I would say. You can see that right there. No abilities on these EXs, but that's fine. Let's see what kind of booster packs we get inside. We got a Phantom Forces, Primal Clash, and two Roaring Skies. Just like my first tin. Let me start with the XY. Or, I'm sorry, let me start with the Phantom Forces. Let's see what comes inside. Let's get rid of that online trader pack. Alright, we got a Dano. Followed by a Bronzor. Krabby. A Gumi. Chansey. I got a lot of Chanseys. I don't need any more Chanseys. We got a Reverse Hollow Lipard. Evolved from Purloin. That means you know what that is. The next one's going to be the Rare. <sighs> Whoa. That's pretty awesome. I know my kid has a Manetric EX. I don't, but I got the Mega. I'll trade on this for something really cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. First pack out the second tin. We got a Manetric EX out of the Phantom Forces booster pack. That is pretty awesome. Nice. Kingler. Followed by a Golbat. Then we have an Enhanced... Hammer Trainer. I, I really like this card. Discard a special energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Man, if they got those double colorless or those psychic or any other like steel fighting special energies and pff, you just knock them out with that one. Little enhanced hammer. Done data. They got to find a whole new setup. Second pack. We are opening the Primal Clash. Let's see what we get inside, guys. Let's see what we get inside, guys. We got a Soul Rock. Drillbur. Nose Pass. A Volby. Eesh. Spinda. Nice. I've gotten so many Tentacools. Have not pulled a tentacruel yet this is the first time i'm actually seeing it in the xy expansion i know they're out there i mean it's a rare cool but i personally have still not seen one in person and i'm glad to have one i can throw it in my well after a, a little more research on the card i can actually throw it in my psychic deck if it's viable pretty cool i like that card a lot second yeah second rare is a azimaril nice Tentacruel followed by Azamarill, two rares. Followed by Escape Rope Trainer. A Masquerain, evolved form of Surskit. Now, a lot of Surskits, but not a Masquerain yet. Cool, I got one now. Followed by a Repeat Ball. Nice. That was two packs. So far, they're pretty awesome. Third pack is going to be the Roaring Skies. I think every, like, almost every single pack that I open from Roaring Skies get one of these. Full Art Natu. I think a, a non-Full Art is actually more rare than this Full Art one. Anyway, followed by a Pikachu. Baggin. A Wingle. A Swablu. Reverse Hollow Baggin. So that means the next one. Salamence. Okay. Got a few of these now too. So rare, but it's not that rare. Huh? Followed by Shogun, a Revive Trainer, and a Pelipper. All right, last but not least, the last Roaring Skies pack number four out of four. On since only since tins only come with four packs every tin. This is my last pack. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope I get something cool. First one we got a Wurmple. Another Baggin. Binnacle. A Gligar. Meowth. Okay, there's the Reverse Hollow. Coming up after this Cascoon is a... 
Oh yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Now I got a Mega Rayquaza. This is the second type of Mega Rayquaza. If you see my other videos, I've actually pulled the Mega Rayquaza, but this one is actually a white background. The other one I got was the traditional uh, black and gold type. Let me show you the Manectric again real quick. Well, this one's a blue background because it's electric, but the first Rayquaza that I got was actually a black background. Dang, this is nice. So I got a a normal EX Rayquaza and two different Mega EXs. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Followed by a Fearro, Fletchender, and the Ladios Spirit Link. Awesome. Four packs and some and two megas. Pretty awesome. Pretty nice pull right there. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Check it out. Gotta love it, man. And I still got one more tent to open. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, guys. Welcome back to the third part of my video. Next, we'll be opening the Blaziken EX-10. Remember, I'm going to mention this in every single segment of my videos. If you have not watched the first or the second portions of this video, and you're only on the third one, and this is your first time viewing it, again, this one is, ex these three tins are exclusive only, only to your local Walmart. Can't get them at Toys R Us, no Target, no comic book store only walmart and it's obviously i got them so it's good from now which is june 3rd all the way to june 15th you you have a small window to get them i don't know if they're gonna if they sell out and they're gonna restock them but i'm guessing they're gonna be discontinued after this so get them while they're hot if you haven't seen my first video i opened up the swampert ex in the third video i opened up the Septile EX tins. You can see, nice art. Again, very nice art. And this is gonna be the third one. Let's see what we get inside, guys. While I'm opening this, let me just explain to you what actually comes inside, if I can get this. Okay, good. Um, so what comes inside is obviously the very front promo EX card. Next, what comes in would be the online booster card. You can unlock booster packs, virtual booster packs on, I'm guessing, uh, Pokemon.com. I don't know. I don't really go to the website to play, so I don't know the the website offhand. And the third installment that comes in every tin would be the four. Um, this one would be the XY series. You get four TCG booster packs. So far, it seems the theme would be two Roaring Skies, one Phantom Forces, and one Primal Clash. And if you saw what I pulled in my first two portions of the video, then you know these are worth buying. These aren't skimpy like, oh, we're just going to give you a, a nice looking tin with a, a cool exclusive promo EX in the front and give you some crappy pulls. Like, nah, these are legitimate random packs manufactured by the official Pokemon. And they give you some good cards inside. Just like buying an individual and getting lucky with it, you know? So as I did in my first two segments, I explained, uh, basically explained the moves and whatnot about the, the promo EXs. The first attack is a Fist of Focus for 30 damage, a colorless and a fire. Attach an energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. It's pretty useful. And then Flare Storm, 100 plus. It says flip a coin for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon, this attack does 20 more damage for each heads. Weakness, water, obvious. So, alright, that was the XY, or I'm sorry, the, um, the promo card. This one is the online booster pack. All I gotta do is get one of those cards, go to the website. Let me, let me actually, let me find out the website, just in case you guys are wondering. It would be... Hmm, maybe I gotta look on the other side with the code. Yeah, 
www.pokemon.com backslash TCGO for a trading card game online. You just go over there. I'm guessing you sign up, put in the code, and bada boom, bada bing. You open up a, or you get a virtual pack that you can open up. So like I said, the theme was two roaring skies. Let's see if I'm right still. And if they continue the, the, the trend. Two roaring skies, one primal clash, and yep, one phantom forces. If you know me, and you pay attention to Absurd Nerd, then you know Psychic is my favorite type of Pokemon, I would say. That, along with fighting, so you know that I'm going to have to be doing the Primal Clash. I would say it's pretty fighting oriented, but Furious Fist is strictly fighting oriented. It's based around that, that element. Alright, there we go. I can open it up. Cool, cool. Get that online booster pack out the way. All right, let's just get right into it. I've been talking in a long while. It's been about four, four and a half minutes now. Maybe a little longer. All right. First one is a Whismur, followed by Zubat, Helioptile, Swirlix, Litwick, and the rare is a Reverse Hollow Venomoth. Okay, got a couple of those. Ah, second rare. Okay, Blissey. Got a few of those. Next is a Furfrow, or Furfru, whatever. Swadloon, Trainer, Roller Skates. Okay. A lot of duplicates for me, but I'm here more for the uh, the tins, the exclusive tins, you know? Oh, sorry guys. Next, we're opening up the Primal Clash. Alright, first one out. For the Primal Clash is a Barboach, Zigzagoon, Trico. Hey, I don't even have a Trico yet. It's pretty good. I like that. A Vulpix. I did not have a Vulpix. I got Nine Tails. I got two different Nine Tails, but no Vulpix. So I'm liking that. Rhyhorn. Nice. Reverse Hollow Hippopotas. That means the next one. Gardevoir EX Fairy type Nice I'm not really into The fairy types I can care Honestly I can care less for fairy types But I love the artwork When it comes to any full art Any any element Any nature I don't care It's awesome Just enjoy that Pretty cool Next we got an EX Peace Share, Experience Sharing Trainer Card, Energy Retrieval Trainer, followed by a Grovile. Got a couple of those too. On to the Roaring Skies. You know, when it comes to the Roaring Skies, I can't really expect anything brand spanking new that I haven't pulled out of that deck or out of that um, XY series just for the fact that I already opened up, if you've seen my last video segments, uh, I actually opened up a Roaring Skies booster box when it first came out. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a lot of a lot of duplicates here. Triplicates, quadruplicates, and all and so on and so forth. Alright, first one we got a Cascoon. Meowth. Full art natu. Like I was saying before, <sighs> I have so many full art natus, it's it's ridiculous. Like I'm gonna start using these as cup coasters because there's really no need for them. You know? I, I don't need these. I think it's actually it's a it's a actually it's a common Natu, but I pulled I think it's been a ninety ninety nine to one percent when it comes to non full art Natus. I have a I got maybe like one Natu non full art and maybe ten plus full arts. Anyway, let's keep it going. You got a Pikachu, Baggin, Reverse Hollow Swab Blue, followed by a Salamence. Okay, I got a, a lot of Salamences now. We got a Fletchender, followed by Ultra Ball, and a Ninjask. What the? Bug, bug, bug. Ninjask the bug, bug, bug. Alright, pack number four of four for the Blaziken EX10. First one out the gate, we got a P Dove. We got Dunsparce. 
followed by Voltorb, another Pikachu, and too many Wurmples. Alright, here's the Reverse Hollow, usually accompanied by the Rare. Ah, man, it's beautiful, but unfortunately I already have this. Like I said, I'm going to get a lot of duplicates, triplicates, and so on and so forth. Still a nice card to look at, man. Especially because it's hollow. I saw the bling bling when I was actually cycling through these cards. When it was in the front, I was actually thinking it was a, a EX. I knew it wasn't a Mega, but I thought it was an EX. Oh well. Still a nice card. Followed by Wide Lens. Togetic. And a Fero. Well, that, that is it, guys. Let me, let me show you one more time. All three tins side by side. Bump, bump, bump. All those right there. And you can see all the tins I have in the background. Those are all the ones in my collection. Now I get to add these three. These are exclusive. Again, exclusive. From now, June 3rd, all the way, I can't even say all the way because it's not that big of a window gap for time, but it's until June 15th, the same month. You have 12 more days to get this, guys. Less than two weeks. So I suggest doing that now just, just if you're a collector. If you want the best cards and you already bought a lot of Roaring Skies booster packs or Phantom Force booster packs or... Um, uh, what is that? Primal Clash booster packs. Then, I mean, I guess you don't need it. But, more than likely, you will not see these again. Ever. That's my guess. And now, if you don't believe me, for some odd reason. Obviously, I have them right here in front of me for you guys to view. But, if you guys don't believe me, uh, go to the official Pokemon Facebook. They'll give you all the news on the brand new three tins and check it out for yourself all right well i hope you guys enjoyed the videos stay tuned for more much much more as always it was good seeing you guys again but i must leave sir nerd out <laughs>